Right, welcome folks. Uh, we're still part of the Slytherin Publishers Sale, so you can get some great specials over on Steam. Uh, actually, pretty impressive. I didn't realise just how how much off a lot of the games were. You know, it's actually very, very impressive. Pretty much the whole uh, the whole gamut of all of the all of the different sort of games, and a lot of the games don't often get. Um, uh, reductions like this. So anyway, there's some, some good times ahead for, for gamers. So I hope you're all doing well. Uh, so this is just going to be, I think, the second last stream today. I think that following me, we've then got XTRG with War in the East uh, to sort of go through that game. And uh, what we'll be doing today, though, is just going through Close Combat The Bloody First, uh, which came out oh, three, four months ago, I think it was. Uh, so it's it's fairly fairly recent, fairly good way of sort of um, like it's a fairly interesting game as you sort of get as you start to scratch the surface. I've been trying to think of what to actually do with this game actually today. Um, I think I'll just play a scenario, like I just play a game in through here. But I've just updated the game to version 1.1, which is actually like a beta version of the game. So I haven't tried it with this new beta version. The, the official release at this point in time is version, I don't know if it'll show it in here, version 1.7, 1.07. So it's basically version 1.10 at the moment that I've actually got installed, which um, from, all, from what I could read sounds pretty sort of stable. So I thought I'd actually just go through with that one and uh, see how it goes. Um, if you've got any requests, that'd be fine as well. <laughs> we can sort of start off a, uh, one of the campaigns or we can just sort of go into it like an operation. I love, love the way it works with this one. It's sort of, you can sort of work through pretty much your own, at your own pace, whether you sort of want to just go through and, and like do the grand campaign where you do the whole lot or just go through and actually just pick and choose a single aspect of whatever you're going to be doing right down through. So you've got the operations. You can see through here, you've got the Omaha Beach, you've got the Bacage, and you've got the Operation Cobra are all sort of things. This is just the, um, of course, the the, um, the the big red one, the uh, the first in, uh, first uh, first armoured, I think it is, from the... Um, from the Americans in World War uh, Two, and so you can sort of see that it just sort of tracks their progress uh, through the actual war itself. And so the operations are, are mini groups of uh, of different scenarios, and you've got the different battles then that sort of take part within those particular areas. So maybe we'll just maybe we'll just start an operation. Um, uh, if you've got any, like as I say, I'll probably actually just go straight through and uh, and I don't know which one to choose actually. Just pretty much choose anything. I think what we might do, let's try Omaha Beach. I haven't, I don't think I've done that one. So we'll give that one a go. We'll play Omaha Beach. So uh, Allied forces have crossed the English Channel and are landing along the Normandy coast at multiple invasion sites. The veteran US, uh, the first US infantry division, actually, I thought it was, I thought it was armoured. Uh, uh, objectives are to land at the eastern half of Omaha Beach, clear the beach of resistance and drive inland to expand the beachhead. Waiting to receive them at the surf uh, line is a battalion of German 352nd Infantry Division, a uh, mix of new rec recruits and experienced soldiers from the Eastern Front. Okay, so there we go. Settings shouldn't really sort of worry us too much. Just keep them all sort of pretty much on what I've always had them on. And um, in we go. So we'll just go and play Omaha Beach. Uh, just go okay and into it. Uh, okay, this is it. The final act. Tunisia and, T and Sicily are merely preambles in this great undertaking overlord. The invasion of Normandy and mainland Europe. The Big Red One, along with elements of the 29th Infantry Division, are, are, are chosen to lead the assault at Omaha Beach. Eight hours long past and the second wave has landed. We're already behind schedule to clear the beach exits. German resistance has been stronger than anticipated. Consolidate your forces and coordinate with supporting tanks to push inland and clear an exit for follow-up. Uh, troops, armour and supplies. This is the most difficult uh, objective after years of training and experience. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great. Duty first. There we go. So we'll close that one off. And so we uh, start off in through here. I love this. I love the way that they've done this with the game, actually. They've got the the different sorts of maps that then sort of get shown in through this and you get to sort of then pick and choose which way you want to go. So where you've got like the divided elements, it means that this is actually still, this is now being fought over. This one here is in control of the Germans. If we can take all of Omaha Beach, even the way that they've done the actual maps like this where you can take maybe half the ob objective in your first mission and then you've still got to go back and keep on doing this particular map until you actually get the rest of it as well. Like it's not a redo, but it just it remembers where you got to. So it's, it's really quite fascinating the, the take that they've actually had on these sort of this sort of um, almost sort of tactical battle type system. So this is pretty much what we have to then do. So you're on the offensive, you have the initiative and will decide the pace and timing of your attacks. 
The enemy can seize the initiative from you by, uh, by forcing you to retreat from the map. So you'll attack at, at 0600 hours. So we'll just go next. Um, that should be okay. Uh, yep, that's okay. We'll just keep on going through that one. And so we're starting here right on the actual beach itself. The force balance is very even. Our reputation is even as well. So everything is actually fairly even. Uh, we do actually get uh, some aircraft support and some also some, some large ship support there as well. So almost like large artillery. So partly cloudy and dry and it's 0600. So it's just do on dawn. Just go next. Now we have to pick and choose our forces and really without sort of knowing what we're going to be up against, we're going to have to sort of guess, I guess, as to where as to the sorts of things that we're going to be needing. I'm assuming it's going to be mainly going to have to be the infantry, but we can actually then go and add in other different sorts of things like snipers. I don't know, getting off the beach, I don't know if snipers are going to be the, the deal. Bazooka team's probably not really all that effective. Assault teams may be something that we might want to do. I might just, I'll keep the list of what we actually have in through here. I can chop and change these as well. We've got a couple with um, with radios. Um, I forget actually how they work. If I just click that one back. This is, yep, unit receives a command bonus from your company command team at all times. I'll just put them back on that 30 cal, oh, 30, 50 cal, uh, back in through there. We also have scout teams. This is, essentially just splits these rifle teams in half. The assault team sort of does the same thing. I might just do one of the rifle teams, just to do that as a um, as an ass as a assault team, back in through here. It just gives me half and half. Um, so I'll just have a quick look and see what else we've got in through there. Sorry, I'm missing a lot of the comments, guys. I'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna keep my head down and bum up and just and just go for it. So um, now I can actually go and just sort of see what we've got as support units. Um, so we'll have a quick look and see what we've got. We've got a medium battle, uh, sorry, medium tank in through here. Uh, the Sherman medium tank was mainly, uh, yeah, that's okay. Don't know if we're going to need more than that. The anti-tank guns probably not so much for the beach landing. Uh, the 30 cals in through here. We've got two of them coming up all this way already. I'm thinking an engineer team will probably be better. So I might just get rid of one of those, throw an engineer team back across. Um, we've, this is actually pretty much all everything we we want in through this side. We've got a lot of engineer teams available. I think I'll still keep the 30 cal. So we've got like the the bar teams, which sort of have like a bit of a. Um, uh, I think it's what have they got? They've got some sort of the the Browning automatic rifle team. There we go. Um, then we've just got the normal rifle teams back, in, back up through here. Platoon HQ. Yep, that should do us. So, okay, let's give this one a go. So we'll fight this one. Actually, I'll just have a quick look at the main force and just see if there's anything in here that would be uh, useful to us. It should just be more of the same. One thing we don't have is mortar. Hmm. Um, I've got so many thought. I might, you know, I might just get rid of the uh, fifth platoon and put in a fifth platoon. Um, not machine gun section. Where's the mortar? Just a, a 60, mil, 60 millimeter mortar, just so I can actually sort of try to uh, hit certain locations. Don't know how effective that's going to be on the beach. All right, let's get into it. Okay, I'm just reading a comment there. So Van Bishop saying, "Oh, here's another game I own and haven't played yet due to sheer laziness." <laughs> KG Moose is then saying, "Laziness and gaming say it isn't so." <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> gaming is the is the best procrastination sport <laughs> it's funny isn't it um okay so where are we if we've got to set up uh, what have we got down in here we can sort of um we can have a bit of a look at the terrain um there is a way of uh, of getting down even closer i've forgotten all the, all the keyboard shortcuts remember the control gives you sort of like a you can press control and sort of see what's around it also does show the um the heights, like you can actually get the contour lines, which is actually quite good. And so we need to do in a bit of an evaluation before we come in. So this is us in through this side. Uh, we've got them all laid out on the actual beach itself. And there's certain sort of uh, problems we're going to sort of be facing in through here as well. I don't know if I can still actually move things around or not. If I just move them, yeah, I can actually move them up. All right, so I'll uh, I'll have to rearrange all my forces. I might just spin everything around just so we're sort of looking up the beach. So I guess the first thing we want to be doing is getting into this ditch, perhaps. I'm not sure if we can get th through the ditch easily. 
Yeah, we've got a, a nice a nice area back up through here at L Draw. This looks to be sort of like a, a good one for us to try to go for. There's certainly a lot of bunkers up that way. It's going to be hard to attack them. We should be able to get in behind the behind the um, behind the, the the line here of the of the dunes, I would guess. Which should give us if I just if I in fact if I have a bit of a look at this, if I just press control. Yeah, it looks like we can't really sort of see from the top from underneath here. It's only when we get back to about this line that we can then start to see the um, see the the uh, bunkers. But in here we're sort of okay until we actually go up up the top. There's no really clear way through up into those bunkers. Maybe maybe just coming back over this other side. I'll just go and find my engineers, uh, which were. This engineering team in through here. I might just move that one across. I don't know if I can do this. See if that will work where we can actually sort of try to break our way through with some of the units. I'm not sure if we can do this. We'll give that a bit of a go. We've got uh, the tanks in through this side. I'll um, keep that on that road. I think that's going to be knocked out very, very quickly. Just bring a lot of these guys up to that uh, to that front line. Now, the, this is the um, this is the heavy machine gun. I might just leave that one back in amongst the uh, amongst the obstacles. Now, where's our mortar? There it is. It's way back over here. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to keep that one fairly far back, but just back in the uh, back in the corner over here, amongst all the dead bodies, I guess. Just back in there. I'm thinking that we're going to be wanting to try to take this first. I don't think it, it may be easier. Actually, it may have been. You know, there's still bunkers on this side as well. Let's just focus on one side. Um, we'll just position some units across in behind this line, and. We've then got the 30 cals back in through this side as well. We'll just move that one up. So we'll have most of our forces trying to sort of take over these bunkers if we can over this side. May not work. May not work at all. But anyway, we'll give it a go. Just move all of these across. I might just leave a couple of units, maybe maybe even another one back in through there. There's one of our, that's our assault team. I do want to have that one go up. As well, see if we can sort of get into that bunker fairly quickly. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to screw this one up initially, and we may have to restart because um, I don't think we're going to do all that well here. <laughs> but we'll stay behind that uh, that June line. Uh, what have we got? Just another rifle squad through there. I'll just I'll just spread these out a little bit just to keep to keep the enemy sort of occupied. Another rifle team. as well. All right, so that should do us, I think. We've got all of our machine guns down one side. We're now deployed. And um, I think we're done. So let's begin. Now I'm just going to pause and we'll try, just try to get things sort of happening here a little bit. So I'm going to send my engineers, I'm just going to see if I can actually get them to somehow, how do they want to get there? If they, if they move, I'm just going to have them move up. Uh, we've got the tank. I'll we'll just keep where it is. I should have probably put the tank hull down in, in one of these depressions, I guess. Uh, if we can somehow break up into this, into this zone, it would be good. Looks like we can scale that, that wall. We do actually have our, engine, our uh, assault team in through here as well. Move that one up. The rest of these, I'm just going to try to get them across to this location. So let's go fast to that location. And the rest, I might just sort of just get them to sort of just sit up on, on the outside edge. So there's a bit of a depression there. 
I might even sort of use this one to sneak across. So we'll just go slow for the rest of these. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to move the others at this point. Okay, so let's just unpause. Uh, the tank, I feel really bad about it because I don't think it's going to last very long at all. Now I've got enemy spotted back over here. So we're seeing an enemy back in through this side. Uh, they've got a uh, an anti-tank gun. Now they won't see the tank as such actually. So let's just go and get this tank and move it up to here. So just move it up. It's not going to be able to get up to here. If I go and click on move, it's going to want it to go to go all the way around, which will then open up this thing. So we, before we can do that, let's just move this thing up into here. Actually, no, I'll move it to here first. And I think I can just shift shift click it to there. There we go. Just do it that way. Now the um, we do actually have the 30 cal. I might even bring this up as well. Try to bring this in. It looks like the there's probably going to be uh, infantry back in there. This, these will be slow. Uh, the, uh, the, where's our mortar team? I had left them way over here, didn't I? Okay, so we have now seen the, um, seen this one. I could, I think I'm going to be able to ultimately, this one thing's not going to be able to do much until we've, uh, until we need to go after it. Let's just unpause. Okay, we have garages. Just zoom out and have a bit of a look. Let's quickly do this, I think. So we can just do a barrage while our guys are sort of getting up that hill. I'm just going to smash that one. Two other units. Seeing units back in through here now. There's the barrage. Okay, we're actually doing some damage back here, which is interesting. So we've um, we've hit a group of I can't tell what that actually is back that way. Um, so there's small units. Schafschutz. Now I'm not sure what that all is, but there's going to be. Um, I think we'll still just kind of stay where we are with our with our groups and just keep on having a bit of a look. Just leave them sort of uh, burrowed down. Everything is looking pretty good here, actually, which isn't too bad at all. Still, just get these guys coming up. So they're sort of hidden away. Till these engineers and uh, so on and so forth get up the top. Okay, now we've got the uh, the the barrage is now coming in. We're now seeing we've got the um, uh, we've got a group in through there. Zugfuras. Now Zugfuras are they parachutists? And we also have just normal infantry back over here, but we don't know what sort they actually are. So what I think we'll do is we've got our assault guys here, the assault team, and inside here there's something, there's some infantry that we don't know anything really about. So what we'll do is we'll just go and give that an order to. Um, actually, I've got smoke that I can use as well. No, I'll just, I'll just move. I'll just move in. We're going to probably be decimated here. Uh-oh, there's a big grenade. We actually didn't suffer there as much as I thought we were going to suffer. Um, that was interesting. <laughs> we're still alive, we're still going. Okay, so Zugfuhrer's Motorman says 79, thanks for that. Now, our assault team, still got three men in it. How do we get inside there?
Yeah, the engine ears as well. Um, got a this bar team should have uh, should have suffered a bit there, but it didn't. Let's just move across there. This tank is still no problem, which is interesting. I, I didn't think that, that was going to do all that well. We've still got these bar teams now. I'm going to move them up and into this line here. So let's just move across into there. And um, what have we still got left on the on the beach here? Okay, they're still coming up slowly. Just move them into that sort of position. I'll leave these back where they are. We can sort of see on the map where the uh, where things are actually going from the uh, we've got it turned around the other way of course but um, anyway we'll keep it going it's our guys you know that, that, that we're doomed no, we're screwed here okay, go fast guys race in yeah, two men for this group. Now these guys, the Germans are coming out here. It's a machine gun group. It's interesting. This bar team. I think we'll just go fast into that into that bunker. Engineer team back over through here. Go fast into there. Yeah, they've wiped out our. Um... Oh no, that's our guy. Oh no! Why didn't they fire? Why didn't they fire? <laughs> Maybe it's dark in there. Our guys are giving up. <laughs> well, this isn't going well, guys. It's not going well at all. <laughs> We're doomed. We certainly are doomed. Now, these guys are starting to. Oh, no, they're not. They're not in yet. There's still actually uh, grenadiers back in through there. All right. Well, this didn't work, did it? This did not work at all. They're moving back. We got left. Okay, well, I think it's a restart. God, that was a pretty quick restart, wasn't it? What's it, 20 minutes? And um, we're already screwed up. The horses are streaming back from the beach. Okay, what could we do differently? What could we do differently next time? Just be the easier hill. You know, this might be the easier hill over this side, just looking at it. We really aren't going to do well here. Okay, what do we have to do? I think we have to lay down smoke and um, and start to sort of really hit one area and then move across to other areas from once we actually get there. So um, I think we can give up here. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything. We didn't do any real damage to them at all. So we're in a lot of trouble. In fact, our guys are giving up. You can see their um, hands up. <laughs> Restart, restart. Okay, so we'll um, just go back and quit the battle. <laughs> I love that. I'll just do that again. When you quit, just listen to the sound effect. <laughs> just a little chicken noise. <laughs> All right, back we go again. <laughs> we'll try that one again. We'll go back to Normandy. Um, we'll play. We'll just we'll play the Omaha Beach one, and uh, and play that. Okay, try this one again, close, next. So we needed, we needed um, smoke. Uh, I thought we did pretty well actually to get to the side of that hill. We'll, we'll take the other side of the hill. Got everything we need there, that's gonna be fine. Uh, we will just go back. I don't know if I'll split up my forces. I think I'll try to keep them. I'll go a little bit more slowly this time. The 30 cals aren't gonna do anything so I can just get rid of them. Uh, how many mortars have we got? We've got a two mortars, so, so let's just go and, tr and transfer those across into those slots. And why is that? Let's get rid of the main force. Hang on, 
hang on, but engineers, so I take the two engineer teams uh, back over through here with the uh, 30 cal, I'll get rid of that and put back on the main force. I might get a couple of mortars, I think, and see if we can actually smash our way through with uh, with a couple of mortars. I'll just get rid of that that one there. Um, yep, so we'll go with two mortars, the 50 cal. Uh, we've still got the radio. I'll keep the radio connected back down through there. I won't bother with any of these. I don't think any of these are going to help us with anything. Sniper, maybe. Single shot equipped with a scoped rifle, useful for harassing the enemy from uh, from long range. Let's look. Let's add that one to um, to one of the rifle teams, I guess. It just splits off a sharpshooter from the rifle teams. So we'll just get a couple of these, just so we've actually got them back out in the. Um, uh, we can leave them sort of fairly far back, just to try to sort of take out the different forces. All right, so let's try this again. We'll fight that one again. This one will go the other the other side, and we will lay down uh, smoke before we do anything else. And we won't rush this one. We'll go nice and slowly. Just going to spin this around. Our team, we'll have that one sort of uh, start to move up. The um, the tank tank is going to have a bit of a tr bit of trouble because we saw that there was an anti tank back over here somewhere, and there'll be anti tank back up this side. If I think if I if I keep it on the um, near the near the near the the walkways, that probably is going to be the best option for me. Just maybe sort of like back in here or something. Uh, okay, we've then got the rifle teams. Just move them up. Engineers will move back over this side. The sharpshooters, we just want to sort of keep sort of half hidden in different areas, like back in through there. I'll just spread them out a little bit across the um, across the top of the map. We've got one more, another you know, sharpshooter there. Just keep them so that they can. I won't move them. Now these are the two mortars, and we don't need them to lay down smoke. There are some other depressions back in there as well. I might just get the other mortar and throw that into there. <clears throat> okay, so um, we, will, we will just compress it into this other side. We've got the bar team back in there. I'll just leave that one to defend this one. We've got the platoon commander, which I'll leave back over this side. Can we break through? 50 cal. I might even keep that up here as well, just where we can get like a bit of a um, a bit of of suppression fire if we if we if we need to. <clears throat> the bar units, so I'll just leave them also just to defend this location. We don't want to get pushed off the beach. Almost sort of need some of these, to, almost just to sit back and and really not participate until we can actually clear it out with one or two units. So I'll move all of these up. All right, I think that's about it. Yeah, everything's now gone from that end of the beach. Uh, do you guys want me to spin the map around? I can't spin this one around, but I can spin my map around so that we're looking at it. Or maybe it would be easier, if we, at least if you're sort of seeing it from the angle uh, from this side. That way the mini map is, is then showing what we're seeing back up through here. Okay, so we're going to... Um, the tank really doesn't have anywhere it can sort of safely go. Everything else should be fairly fairly clean, I think. Let's just um, let's begin. 
and we're just going to now go and get our our um, uh, mortars and we're just going to lay out a, a barrage of, of smoke in through here. So if I just go and right click, uh, fire, actually I should be able to set what I want. Um, fire, no that's not, that's not, that's not going to be it, hang on, if we go, no it's not going to do it, that's weird. Look, I can fire back there. I don't want to do too much with this. You shall fire with this one here. I'm oh, sure they had smoke. I'm oh, sure they had smoke. It would come up, I'm pretty sure, in the description if, if we did. Let's just fire this one. So I'm just going to fire that way. Um, in that case, I'm going to have to try to sort of sneak up a team. I'll, I'll start with a bar team and just try to get it up to here. So we'll sneak that one very, very slowly up. And we'll sneak an engineer team up, there, up to here as well. Just get them sort of crawling. Got a rifle team, which I'll just move that one across. That can become what attracts a bit of the attention. Actually, I'll, I'll, no, I'll leave that one with back where that is. Leave that one back there. This one here, or even this one here, this bar team. Let's just move across into that depression. Okay, uh, that'll do us for now. All right. Uh, yep, yeah, now seeing units back over through here with the infantry. And we are seeing units in there as well, so that, that will be, a, if we can get accurate, it should work out fairly well. Okay, we're being shot at by different things back over the other side. Okay, we're losing units already from this. Ooh, not quite enough. Getting some wounds coming from their side, you can sort of see a bit more what's going on, I guess, across the whole range of things. It's not quite where we need to be just yet. Let's sneak this one up. This one can deploy smoke, but we're um, going to need that a lot further up, I think. Let's just move up with these. getting these hits with the mortar. Oh, there we go. That was a really good hit. So we've got uh, something back in there. We do actually have the barrage as well. So I've got to think about where I want to position this. Um, probably really should be back this way. I think this is going to be where it's going to get a bit trickier for us. So let's just go and push the barrage back through this side. Oh, look at this, look at this. All right, this mortar, we can stop. Um, you know, how do I do this? It's X, isn't it? I forgot all the, uh, forgot all the keyboard shortcuts <laughs> to stop it all. Um, I can give it orders. No, nothing there. Damn it, I've forgotten exactly what to do. No line of sight. Oh, I've forgotten how to do this thing. I'm just going to have a quick look at the options. See if it'll tell me the keyboard shortcuts. No, it's not going to do it. Hmm, I've forgotten how to actually tell it to not do stuff. 
Um, just resume. I don't want this one moving, and it's now essentially moving fast because of what I what I clicked on. Fast sneak fire. Actually, I'll just go defend. That's the one. Sorry, I'll just go defend that way. That way, it's just going to be seeking cover at that location. Uh, this one here, I'll still keep this one up at this point. We're going to need more of these. Um, we've still got grenadiers and things back in through here, so I'm just going to leave that one where they, this is. This group won't like what's actually happening, and um, I think what we can do is we can start to now move this thing up as well. So where's it going to go? It looks like that one's uh, broken down. It's loading. This grenadier is coming back in again. Start getting them, stop, stop them from sneaking. Let's move them straight into this bunker. Just now coming back in this side. Will that be enough? And have we done enough damage in here as well? That's the other question. They're trying to get away. All right, so we're we're moving, which does allow us to then get get opportunity fire. There's the one unit that did get just uh, killed. Let's just fire that way. This bar team as well, we'll just do the same thing. We'll just fire on this side. And the engineers. Barrage We've got another barrage available. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get a few of these. I still think this is going to be the problem area for us. Um, we're seeing a few units over this side from the enemy. But it's a long, long way away from where we're actually firing. So what I think I'll do is I'll still just keep on pushing back down to this objective here. So let's just go for another barrage. Just move it over slightly from the ships. Where are they off to? Units in there. Oh, now they're firing through the side of the wall. Let's just move them out of there. Looks like the, the model actually doesn't mean anything, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Drag this gun around. Uh, we'll fire into there as well. This engineer group can just sort of stay at the back through here. We haven't got the objective yet. Okay, we're getting a few kills here now. This firing is actually working fairly well. Get 
they're gonna try and get away. Okay, they're, they're now being destroyed. This is good. Okay, so this is working well. Let's move these up to here. And we'll move these down to here. The engineer can now come back inside. It should all be clear. Um, now with that done, we've now got a bit of a gap across the other side. Uh, we've still got units back over this side. Let's go back to our our mortars and get them to also now start to uh, just put pressure back on through here. So we'll fire back in through there. We'll do the same with these. There may be stuff behind it, <clears throat> but I'm not sure. So we'll just try this one again. Now that it's rifle team, we can start to move this one up. Move that one to there. This bar team. We're going to get flanking fire coming to our way a lot. What I think I might do is I might move this one down. So move that one and then move it up to here. So just shift click to move that one up. The, uh, tra the tank has been had the, had the tracks knocked off it. We've lost a few few units as well, like the um, the loader and the uh, and the driver have both been injured. I uh, might even do the same with this one. Just move it along the beach and then up. Right. moving back oh god they moved out at just the right time we now have airstrikes available as well oh, there's still a unit back there as well in that case we'll use this one to uh, to attack it Now, as far as the airstrike's concerned, I might do the airstrike against this other bunker system back over this side. Let's just do it through here. Let's zoom back and watch it. These are sort of in position. that we missed. <laughs> oh well. Okay, that was a good hit. Okay, we might just now stop the uh, stop these again. Just defend. engineers that are back in here. Uh, we've got four of them in there. I think we'll now move these across to this side. Move these over. Just move them across in behind that uh, tree line. Uh, back over this side. Yeah, we still can't do anything with the tank. Do actually have these guys moving up into this position. We should be able to start to swing around fairly soon. There is going to be still these grenadiers down here somewhere. Grenadiers have moved all the way back from the front. 
Oh, we've just lost another man from the uh, from the tank. The tank is now burning. So we've lost the tank entirely. This one's in a it's another grenadier unit. Should be able to wipe these guys out. So many, so many forces firing at this guy. Here goes some grenades. There he goes. All right, so he's now out of the way. Uh, we're going to move this one across. Yeah, we've got another group of them walking away over there. So that's the same grenadiers, actually. Let's just move these over to here. These engineers are a little bit out in the open. So we've got four of them here. Doing a better job this time. Now move these up as well. Other units are making their way around, which is good. Uh, the sniper, I'll just leave him where he is. Actually, what can he see? May get a better view from if we get him to sneak up a little bit onto the onto, into more of the uh, middle of this. So let's just sneak him up into here. This one's already pretty much sneaked up. Yeah, so he's, he's loading. He is shooting. So that the fact that he's loading means that he's actually got targets to uh, to spot. Taking a lot of suppression from our forces. I think this has worked out fairly well. We've, you know, we've certainly still got a lot of our forces intact. There they go. He's given up. <clears throat> now we've taken this forward command. Okay, we've just lost a unit. We've got attacked from back over here. These grenadiers here. Right, guys, you need to fire at these. As do you. Let them continue to walk up. We've got these guys back in through here now. I'm going to move them further down this way. And I'll do the same with the other group that's coming back up. Losing men here. All right, where's our mortars again? Use these to uh, help with this one if we can. suppression fire happening. There we go. Getting rid of one of them. Losing men over here though. Move them into that bunker. Hoping there's no one in there. They're moving off. Alright, we've pushed them out of the way. So we can now go back to our, um, our mortars and just tell them to... Um, to just go back to defend. All right, the mortars were, I think, uh, a pretty important addition to our forces. This bar team can just move across into there. They're down to four men, which isn't great. This engineer team is down to three as well. There's nothing much else back this way until we get to this this uh, ridge line back this side. I'll move this one into this depression. Oh no, there's still actually a lot of firing coming in.
There's a unit in there. Fire and you can fire in there as well. Machine gun unit. That's going to hurt. Let's move into there. After these machine gunners can be can be wiped out fairly fast. The units are moving up fairly well. That's the grenadiers that are still trying to get away. Come on, guys, fire at them, fire at them. Okay, let's move this bar team up as well. We've still got forces on the beach. Yeah, they've give, just given up. That's good. So our rifle team is now sort of moving out in front. We're overrunning this section, but we haven't overrun what's inside here just yet. I'm just going to keep these back where they are. We're down to three men there, which isn't good. They're going to sort of, uh, they're going to really st struggle. We've now taken this one as well. Now, what happened back this way? There was some something hidden over here, I think. Probably like anti tank or something like that. Let's just go and grab these. Uh, that's, that's our platoon HQ. I didn't realise that I had him. <laughs> way up here. <laughs> In that case, we'll keep him back where he is. He shouldn't be moving around. Shouldn't be much else this side. I'm sure I saw something or heard something back this way. Let's just move up just so we can see what's, got, what's happening. As an engineer, we want to move up into here as well. Everything else is pretty good there. Now they're going to counter-attack. They're sure to counter-attack. This bar unit up through here as well. All right, unpause. I don't know if that's... That's not our mortars. The, our two mortars are, are not doing this. So let's see if I can spot anything happening down this other side. I've certainly pushed them around. Keep the commanders back this way. Well, we're not seeing anything over this side. So I'm going to get them to move towards the back. I mean, I'm pushing them right away from everyone. Let's move them up. Everyone else is okay. Oh, we're still losing men here. Here we go, here we go. So they've got their own barrages now coming back in. We're doing well though, like in overall, we've sort of certainly got them on the on the ropes. I'm just gonna to have to sit in there. <laughs> They're all doomed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, we're struggling here. Anyway, I'll keep on keep on marching through. Engineers are back back in here. Just move them up. I 
I found nothing through here actually, which is quite interesting. Let's just move them even further across on the road to Collerville. That's going to sort of then take all of the objectives on this eastern side of the map. We, um, we're not seeing anything in there actually. I'm, I'm just going to keep on moving these up this way, and the bar team. I'm going to I'm going to sneak them inside to see if we can actually. Oh, there's no, there's still units in there. In that case. Try smoking this, that out, maybe. Her engineer is down to one. He's not really too heavily involved. We're losing men here. thing. Oh, no, we've wiped out a full section. I think I'm just going to leave that one where that is. Now, how are we going back over here? Yep, this group has done well. We've actually now claimed all of this. We've got groups in the middle. More of, the, more of the groups that are back over this side. We're seeing some units. I'll just stop them. Our team there, we can move this one up. <clears throat> Just sneak them onto that ridge line. In the meantime, we'll uh, keep this engineer group where it is. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to, to uh, take this location anymore. It's way too difficult. Let's just get out of there. Now we do actually have the other objectives are sort of across this other side. We can move up to here. Let's try this. This one may work. Reasonable position. Should have a pretty good vantage point from back up there as well. And they're still very, very strong. There's definitely something back here. Here they are. Here they are. So what are they though? Yeah, I knew there was something back that way. Bar team there. This one's down to three men. I'm gonna race this one back to here. I'm just gonna tell it to run, go fast. If they're moving, they're trying to get back to protect other zones. Just need a few lucky shots against these guys. A 
I'll let them still just continue on firing against these. Yeah, we're sort of surrounded here. It's fairly critical that we hold on here. Yeah, the force that's coming in behind, we'll just try to sort of get in and um, stop it from getting too close to the Colophil. Um, where it's overlooking that that, uh, that little valley. Come on, guys! You got him! You got him! You got him! He's out in the open. Rifle team back over there. There's not much left. one that we had running up. We're going to be slow. There's still a lot of units running across this way. He looks like he's uh, on marching orders. <laughs> um, okay. There's nowhere to go. Time. How are we going over here? These guys are doing fairly well. These guys are sort of untouched as well, pretty much. There's a few units now coming back through. These units to come back up to here. So one of our bar teams has destroyed. One of our engineer teams was essentially wiped out as well. But we've still got a lot of a lot of good units. Oh, they're actually bringing their anti-tank guns out. Left the um, they've left the bunker. <laughs> Why would they do that? <laughs> oh, they're going into there. Just give them something to think about. up to. Still a few units. There's one over here that we don't know about and one that's getting very, very close now. This is, oh, this is a command team. Okay. Let's go after this guy. See him where we can see him from. If we come over to here, we'll see him, and he'll see us as well. So just there he is. Fire at him. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. Move that one back down to there. We've got the other units that are now coming through this way. I'm going to move them back down this other side. Just move them into there, just to wipe out those groups sort of at the back there. So that's one of their command teams. They should be giving up very, very soon. What we'll do is we'll start to now move up towards this house, just with this group, the beach house. In 
There's still two more units back up this way somewhere. Perhaps on the road. there. I'm sure there'll be units inside this this location. I'll get this one to come across and lend support. And this unit at the back through here. Let's have a quick look around. Yeah, this guy's still just wandering around everywhere. Let's just move this one out. Get him destroyed. Where is he? He's lived a charmed life, this guy. There he goes. Not for long. And we'll move this one back across to here now. Yeah, the, the German forces are now collapsing. I want to see if I can take this, even without the support. Bitch, it's got uh, infantry and... Oh, hang on, there we go. There we go, who's this? chance that that was the group that was inside there that have now given it away. We haven't taken this. It means that there's still units in here. Okay, no, fall back, fall back, fall back. Okay, we've got one of them. They've got one of us. gone. Another one gone, damn it. Move that one across as well. Oh, they're moving away. Okay. Uh, in this case, get these back inside again. There's only three of these. Okay, that's fine. I don't think there's anything behind us anymore. I've sort of been able to clear most things out. Although this, again, it still hasn't... Um, Still hasn't gone across to our side. No problem. Okay, the house. Oh, yeah, here we go. We've got the beach house now. Oh, a little 
group coming back through now. So we've still claimed all of this. It's just this one little bunker area that we haven't actually done anything with. I can't take it anymore. Here comes another group. Okay, he's down. So we've wiped out the groups that were over this side. There's still more f marching out. Um, if I've got another full group, I've only got sort of like half groups. This one here has still got five. Okay, so we can use him to, to flank back across. Let's do this. Actually, maybe this way. Oh no, there's still more, still more coming back this other side. In that case, move up. When we see this next one, we'll have a crack at him. We should see him soon. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? All right, leave it there. Yeah, XTRG is saying the mortars are great. They are good, actually. Um, so in Highland Group, uh, Highland New is then saying, uh, do you find that having mortars is just the best thing in close combat? I, it seems to be so versatile with what they can actually do. Actually, a lot of these World War II games are the same, aren't they, really? The mortars always seem to do well. That one's given up. All right, let's go and push this a little bit. Yeah, it's funny, like, you'd sort of think that the machine guns would, would do better but um, than what they do. They only really do well if they're in exactly the right position. But the mortars are really quite versatile. Fire at you. There's more giving up over this way. Yep, they're all giving up. There we go. Battle complete. Okay, check the uh, briefing. So we'll debrief. Captain, the battle ended uh, because enemy morale broke and we captured an, an additional objective. Okay, have you achieved a minor victory? <laughs> okay, so only minor. The enemy suffered heavy losses. You captured more ground than expected. So we covered all basically all of the eastern side. And we ended up getting this one as a bit of a bonus, but they still hold on to this. And so the next phase of the battle, uh, and we'll probably have enough time to at least get it started, will be to then claim this and then sort of wipe them out. But we will have they'll have little pockets back and through here, back at this side. So we're going to have like a, a bit of a sailing act, 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 out through here. We have to be a little bit careful. Actually, this is still not going to be all that easy because of what they we didn't actually gain control of this. So they've te technically still got control of these areas. So we just go next. Um, battle ended at 0700 hours, so that was basically one hour of fighting. Uh, we've still got this one that we're going to have to do, so resume the attack as soon as possible to keep the pressure on the enemy. There's no chance to rest, reorganise or repair vehicles. Ammunition resupply will be minimal and no new fire support may not be available. So this is a hasty attack. Prepared attack will give us regroup your units and plan a new attack. Allows for some rest, rearming, repair and reorganisation. New fire support may become available. Another night attack if we leave it until the end of the night, which we wouldn't do with this sort of with what we've already done. So we're going to go and do a hasty attack. So the next attack will be 0800 hours. This will be 1200 hours. So we'll do this one next. Um, so uh, Pixel is then saying, I do like how battles continue across the map sometimes for a while. Yeah, I really, I really like this as well. It sort of allows you to then to sort of start thinking about what you want to do before the battle ends. You know, so that you end up with the with the right sort of. Um, Mix of things. So they're dug in. Um, their reputation has now dropped a little bit. Ours has gone backwards slightly. Their supply is in is in trouble. Their morale is in trouble. We've still got air, air and uh, sea support. Uh, so this is looking good. Uh, it's partly cloudy and dry. So for the actual attack. So we have uh, different units now that we can we we can actually now just for, uh, shuffle them out and then get new forces in. So let's go and get the third 
the, the, the second squad too, like the second second out from there, these as well. These have taken a big beating actually, most of these. The 30 cals, I'll um, get rid of them, I think. Actually, what do they normally have? Oh, sorry, the 50 cals. What have we got them? I'm not seeing them anywhere. I think I'll um, I'll ditch that one as well. And so we've got the this bar team has taken a like actually all of these have taken a bit of a hit. Let's get a, a new group in. These are still full strength. So we went in with the uh, with the second platoon and they've actually suffered a bit. So let's now take in the we've got the third platoon. So let's bring them out. Uh, we've got the their rifle team, get one of their bar teams. Still got uh, four more units that we can bring across. It's the uh, second squad three, third squad three. That's ten. We've still got two mortars actually on the on the thing at the moment. Yeah, the the thirty cals. Yeah, I can't really tell what's what. I could even get a third mortar. I don't think I'm going to need it though, to be honest. I, I think in this case. Maybe the the thirty cows will be enough. Just get one or two, just for protection. Um, and we'll just go with a uh, with one of the uh, fourth squads uh, groups as well. That gives us to twelve. The mortars. I'll keep the radios on the mortars just so that they've got better control. The um, snipers. I'll still use these. Actually, I'll use one down there. And actually, this uh, that's the third. Um, this is the second. Yeah, that one's actually suffered a little bit. Let's just get rid of that one. We'll just get the fourth squad. Yeah, we'll just get a sniper into that group as well. I think. All right, so we've got pretty much everything that we need. Still got the engineering team. I'm just going to move that one back out. Get the support units back in and. Um, We've still got two good engineering teams. They weren't that great, to be honest. The anti-tank guns aren't going to do anything. I might get another 30 cal in through here. I wish there was more um, more stuff to choose from. I might even get another one of these. Which means I don't need that. I can just go back to my main force and bring in another rifle team. Bazooka teams we don't need, assault teams we don't need, and scout teams we don't really need. Okay, that'll do us. So I'm thinking that what we'll do is we'll use these to protect the uh, salient. So we'll move them up to the front. Let's uh, let's go and across and fight. Okay, Holland New is saying, how about a sniper and a machine gun team? Uh, uh, I'm not sure actually if that would work. I mean, it, it did it did say I, could, I was allowed to do it. I didn't want to weaken the uh, the numbers in those teams too much though. So we have the different sorts of groups and things that we actually have down through this side. I've got areas that I can then just leave all my forces. I'm just going to go down and grab these um, these heavy cows and move them right up. I want them pretty much, if there's stuff in here, I want them to protect what we've got in the middle here. So I'm just going to leave that, that group up. I'm going to defend from this direction, just so it's actually sort of looking towards where this means that they can deploy anywhere along through here. So I'll use one of them there, and then we're going to have the other side could come from anywhere over this side. So I want to use another of these uh, heavy cals back down this side, the, uh, the, the oh, sorry, the 30 cal machine gun nest. I'm going to move that one up this way. Hang on. Where is it? Don't know if we can do that inside the inside the house. Actually, if we can do that, let's try that, and we'll just defend. That's that's probably the right sort of angle. Just go that side. Okay, Platoon HQ is back on the beach. You can stay there.
engineering squad. Move that one across. This is where we have to do the assault. Just keep it up in there. Put that one down. Snipers. I want to keep the snipers sort of fairly fairly open. Let's just keep them sort of out on the top of the tree, at top of the hill there. They can technically put a group in there as well, which I don't think that they would do. Wouldn't last long. This thing's going to struggle. Rifle team. Let's move that one up. Uh, the mortars, I can just leave at the back there. That's, they're going to be okay. I will just keep one group back this way, I think. And um, yeah, that just keeps a few support units back that way. And we've just got like a whole range of units, these bar units and things. It really, the fight should be over this side. Start the sharpshooter there. I'm just going to move that one back. Actually, I've already got one on that hill. I'll just keep that one back there as well, just so I can look over the uh, over the battlefield. Move that one up. Actually, I've got two units there. That'll still be okay. We can still go around. Looks like that's going to be abandoned. This is going to be really where the problem is going to be. Need need more forces back there over this side. Drag that one into there. It just leaves us with one unit at the back, one machine gun at the back there just to protect if there's anything that's going to come back over this other side. We're not leaving anything in here really. Might leave a sharpshooter back that way, just so that it's sort of sitting back that way. All right, so let's get started. We're seeing units from back in here, so we're already seeing the, the issues that we might sort of face. Uh, we don't have to rush anything, we can just sort of stay under cover essentially while we push forward. Hi Avad, Avad saying that, uh, wait a second, so this is kind of a dynamic campaign, this mission is not scripted but generated because you didn't conquer the left part of the map. Yes, exactly. It actually then, it sort of then tries to automate what's what. And you can see there that there's a lot of... Um, Actually, there's a lot of Germans here. <laughs> they did set themselves up in here. So this is where we're going to now just smash them with um, with mortars. I thought I had a third mortar somewhere. No, I've got machine guns, didn't I? Um, let's just go and fire. And get the next mortar. Oh, hang on, that's this heavy cow. Probably really should come after this one as well. With my mortars, yeah, I don't know, maybe this one still. Yeah, so we've just got this platoon which will be overlooking that, that position. Let's just let it go. We're gonna have all sorts of different units firing at them. There we go, there's already one down. come across into these sorts of areas. There's a fair few back in this way. This thing's going to suffer. They've already got problems. 
They shouldn't last in the open here. Good. Now we have the barrage available here as well. Let's just now go and smash this. Attack really. The forces should do fairly well. Here we are. Yeah, they've been wiped out. We're gonna have this thing. We're gonna have this thing over and done with. They're giving up. Shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, they're, they're, this is almost over. Just a couple of minutes in. Oh, battle complete. There we go. Wow, that was that was quick. <laughs> Did I move? I only move one unit. <clears throat> Everyone just just stayed where they were. Um, yeah, they ended up inside there because I knew that they couldn't they couldn't deploy into there. So uh, it's interesting. So they've actually given up. Now we should get this one now just because they gave up. So we just go to the debriefing. So the battle ended because enemy, enemy morale broke and they were forced to retreat. You've secured all objectives in this area. Your casualties were lighter than expected. Well, we, did, we didn't lose anything. Look at this. <laughs> we only, only, uh, they only lost uh, six uh, soldiers killed and, and 12 wounded. I should have checked to see what the other one was last time. Anyway, we'll just go next. So we've now got Omaha Beach, and now we move on to Collerville. So this will be the next sort of uh, phase of the attack. Um, the Our forces will still sort of keep on going with what they've got. We can go with another hasty attack. Resume the attack as soon as possible to keep the pressure on the enemy. There is no chance to rest, reorganise or repair ve vehicles. Ammunition resupply will be minimal. I'm going to do this one as well because our forces are still... We're still fully ready to go, uh, so we're actually okay. It's just the enemy's going to be struggling at Collerville. So, um, oh, hang on, back and click on the soldiers. Um, all this, oh no, oh no, oh no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh oh, uh oh. Save games. I don't know if this is going to do it, guys. I don't know if this is going to do it. <laughs> Saying, oh, dear, sorry, I didn't know. Oh, well, I didn't know either. <laughs> I still think we can still do it. I think we can actually open it up because it does auto save. So if I go and um, play Omaha Beach, yeah, we're back here, but we don't get to see the soldiers, sorry. If I click on back, all it does is take me back. So I can at least, I, I, so we didn't lose anything. Uh, but it's um, yeah. The sol all the soldiers are. I think I can still. I don't think I can show it here. It's um, essentially they're the men in your platoon, and they have different sorts of abilities ultimately as they get experience. So um, we'll just go next. Okay, the fight for Omaha Beach levied a heavy toll, but the work of securing the bridgehead include includes expanding the area of control. We must elbow our way out of the Omaha lo lodgement and link with the British at Golden Beach and the other American invasion site at Utah. Uh, move inland and take Collerville and uh, help stabilise the beachhead against uh, German counterattack. The German 352nd Infantry Division is beaten but not destroyed and the sharp counterattack is a realistic threat. All right, so I'm now half assuming... So this is now going to be the, the inland road towards uh, Collerville. I'm, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's, um, it's a French town. I'm sure it's not Collerville. <laughs> okay, so Kratzenstein is saying, hey, Daz, what's the name of this this game? This is Close Combat, the bloody first. Uh, there we go. So Kushan has uh, has actually put that there for you as well. So it's the, um, it's basically a redo of the Close Combat games. 
Uh, there's a lot of other games, that, like they've been in development for what, 20 odd years, I guess, uh, Close Combat. But this is the first one with sort of like more 3D type assets. It's really quite cool. Like I've only got half an hour, we're not going to get really much chance to do much with this one. So if you've got any, if anyone wants to see anything in particular, um, like scenario editors, which I think has just come in with this particular version, you've got all sorts of different things that you can do with this. Um, because, because we're not going to get far into this next fight. So would you prefer, if, just let me let me know if you guys want to sort of see those sorts of things. Like I know that with the update that I've got with this one, the, the beta patch, they've done a lot of work with the scenario editor. It looks fairly involved, but that might be something that, um, that could be could be of interest to people. Uh, so they're going to use uh, a, a URL sh uh, shortener, which allows you to customize a name to include reference to the game title. Yeah, that's true, actually. It's sort of... Um, I actually, I don't like the shortened, shortened uh, names for a lot of the links when it goes to like the Steam, the Steam areas and stuff like that. It's sort of, um, you know, like you, at least you can see exactly what, you, what you're going into uh, if you don't have it shortened. Uh, I want you to highlight skills and usage of radios. Well, I don't know much about that, to be honest. But anyway, let's just go forward. Um, the radios, what they do. Okay, so this is, if I just go and drop one of them back out again. Unit receives a, the command bonus from your company command team at all times. Now, the company command team is this one through here. And I don't know what this actually is. I don't know what the actual command is. I think what it means is that they just have got better morale. So maybe they, they're they not the best ones to actually have it. I thought it meant that they were sort of like were, were better able to have, use like forward observers, but that may not be the case. And we can just pop it on one of those and sort of see what actually does happen. These ones have also got the, um, these are the extra bars, so assign an extra Browning automatic rifle to increase the unit's firepower. If I leave them in through there. Um, now the support, we've got Nord of three selected. We've got one more that we can add into the main force. Uh, let's go across. We've got the two mortars. Um... You know, I might use an anti-tank gun now. I think I might, hang on, that's support. That's support. We'll just go across to the main force. Uh, what should we go with? Another mortar? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, three mortars. And uh, if we just go to the support, I've got three support that I can bring in. I've got uh, heavy machine guns. I've got a uh, A&P squad. So this is a... Um, a, good, a, a pool of men that can perform any manner of manual tasks, including bearing ammunition... Yeah, we don't really need that one, I don't think. Uh, we've got engineers. We've got one medium tank. We've got a, um, a Sherman medium tank down the bottom there. Let's bring that one in uh, this time. We may we may be able to hide this one now that we're going along a roadway. Uh, and we'll go with, I think I might even grab an anti-tank gun and just keep it back. And we'll also then just grab an engineer, I think. Or, or do we go with a like another 30 cal? How many 30 cals have we got in here? None. Um, yeah, I'll grab a 30 cal and drag that one into there as well. Now this mortar, yeah, these are all okay. They're fine. Uh, scout teams, they just sort of split the team into two. Snipers, I'll still grab another couple of snipers, I think. So this is going to drag a man out of the mortar squad if we do that, but I think I'll just do it from a rifle team. And where's another rifle team? There we go. All right, so we've got 13 out of 13, which plus the two little extras with the snipers. The support is okay. Uh, we'll just go across. There's soldiers there, actually. I'll, um, I can click on that if you like. I'm hoping that that don't, won't fix everything up. All this does is it just shows you what their skill set is for every single individual shoulder, soldier in your company. So uh, you've got, uh, like, depending on what they've actually done, like we've had a few units that have been um, been injured, uh, but it'll tell you sort of like how many kills they've got. Um, if we go back down to some of these other ones, there should be some with, yeah, look at this, look at these. Look, they've got soldiers killed and then acts of cowardice. <laughs> so these guys ran. <laughs> so it's it's quite funny. Like these guys uh, suffered a lot, but they did actually acts of bravery for three and five acts of cowardice. With the uh, with the dramas that these guys actually had, it is funny to sort of watch this. Um, yeah, lo lots of running away with these, these particular units. Uh, three soldiers killed there for um, for Elliot, Private Elliot. And so these guys are now essentially like they've got still got the squad leader in through here, but he's just a private. So these guys are really struggling with what they've done. These these are actually pretty good. This um, Private Duncan, the rifleman, actually got four kills and one act of bravery. 
So yeah, it's it's it is interesting. Like it's it's sort of a much more immersive. Uh, <laughs> Elliot, like oh, and he's not in the he's not in the game because he's he's recuperating. We've actually now got a, a, a fairly green team. Although some of these will have got some kills in the last in the last session. So anyway, let's just go and fight. Um, <laughs> you want to find that coward hero? What actually ends up happening is they end up getting special abilities because of what they can what they end up doing, and uh, that's really quite good. I don't want to just let this thing go. I'm I'm concerned that. Like this sort of unit is going to be just absolutely smashed. So I'm going to bring that one in behind here. Just leave it so that we've actually got it ready to go. Just so it's actually hidden from the others. These are all sort of in a reasonable position. Okay, let's just get it started and just see what actually happens. We'll just begin. Actually, where's my other guy? Where's my anti-tank? Right, back over here. Okay. I'm just going to move that one up. Actually, no, I won't. I'll just leave it where it is. So I can. what I can do is I just press control and I can see that he can see nothing at all. Just pause that for one second. I'm not seeing any enemy, so we're just going to now move the, this one up to here. No clear path. Oh, it can't actually get up there. All right, so it's stuck where it is. I should have moved that somewhere else. So let's go and move some of these across here. Move those up. Just move them into there. I like that the units also then go, they try to find the their best protect, protective zone wherever you actually ask them to go. And they will actually not just blindly follow orders as well. Like they will actually try to do their own thing. I'm just going to sneak that one out to there. Got another more to there. Sun pause, see how these go. Just looking for the little red dots now to appear on, on here. Now they're already, once again, we're sort of pushing them back. We're sort of just assaulting all in the one day. Do you, after that first um, that first battle that we had, that we got absolutely smashed. I was pretty worried about getting off that beach. <laughs> Now, where'd that one come from? Okay, we're seeing units back over this side. Exactly where we want to be going is, uh, is where there actually are some. So we've got some back over here. Uh, we're just going to go and get these guys to now start to fire at this one. I'll let these also then try to fire at this one as well. Keep them coming. are moving out. Just move them out across. All right, you can go back to firing. They're already using this. That's not doesn't that doesn't warrant anything at this point in time. There's more units back over through here on the main street. We've now taken this one without any without any worries at all. I'm going to move this one up to here, and this one up just to give it support as well. Now we've got this unit back over this side. Let's go to some of the mortars. We've got heaps of them. Fire at that one, it's, uh, about 200 meters away. And I won't worry about this one, this one should be okay for us. It's, it's under better protection than what we are. 
Let's move this one up. Looks like a lone man. Whoa, there we go. All right, now we have to move out of there. Let's just pause, have a bit of a look over this side. I think we're still okay over there. over this side. All right, another mortar. Another two mortars, maybe. Oh, hang on, there's heaps. No, there's heaps over here. They need, they need these mortars. Yep, so they're, they're targeting in there. That's fine. These guys are all doing fairly well. Sharpshooter. Can't see that unit just yet. We'll watch what's happening over this side. I'm not getting the kills. There we go. Got a couple of kills there. That's good. Road. I'm going to move this bar team up. So we're coming into the into the village. Oh, we need to get some kills while they try to get away. Oh, there we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's just move right up against that tree line. There's going to be a lot of fighting back in through here. Looks like we lost our sniper. Salt on the church and the other areas is going to be fairly tricky. So yeah, we've got this one now. Much there. Let's just move this one right up, right the way up to there. I love this how it actually is going to find the best line for it to do what it needs to do. This guy is repositioning. Oh, I've got him. Okay, he's down. This rifle team. Now taking this one. Let's um, just move up there a little bit. So we've still got the units, grenadiers, back in through there. Other units in the in the um, uh, in the city or in the village in Collerville. Up to the um, up to that small wall. Again, the units are, it's it's fairly intuitive the way like it's, it, they don't they're not dumb with what they're doing. And this this group maybe. <laughs> Where are you off to? I think one of them is going the right way. <laughs> the rest of them are not. Hang on, go back. Move back. Hang on, we've got a group back in through here. It's a machine gun unit. Alright. 
two can play that game. So we've pushed right up into the city. These guys are now oh hang on, we're losing a bit in through here. Yeah, a few of them in through there. There's no no point rushing. The platoon guys, we'll just leave them where they are. Clean line of sight. Let's just move out a little bit. Keep them occupied. Keep them pinned with these guys. In fact, oh, it's, we're losing men there. It doesn't take much to end up with a really bad position. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we got there. We got there. Wow. Okay. We've still got 10 minutes left. We're smashing this, we're smashing it. So this, you can see through here, we now have a very clearly defined line uh, left over. Well done, Captain. The battle ended because enemy morale broke and we captured an additional objective. Because we put them on the back foot so well with that very first battle, they've never been able to catch up. Uh, your casualties were lighter than expected. You captured more ground than expected. There we go. So we did very, very well. We actually have like the operation as well. We can sort of see what's going on. Uh, we can look at the soldiers and just have a bit of a bit of a look to see who did what. Uh, it is fun to look at this actually, and we do have a bit of time. I was just trying to make sure we had things happening. So we get things like the Purple Heart because he was uh, he was injured. So um, so this is Second Lieutenant Day. Uh, is um, his morale is is negative because he got injured, I guess. Uh, we've got um, one kill through there with um, with Private Grey. Uh, what else have we got? We've got, that's the third platoon, that's the HQ. Now I actually ended up moving them forward. I didn't, I didn't think about it, but I actually moved them up when I really shouldn't have. These guys have been fairly brave except for three of them, Acts of Cowardice back in through here. Private Duncan is also got a Purple Heart, so he's injured um, and um, yeah, everything else is pretty good in that group. You can see here, there, it's sort of coloured red slightly. There's a couple of oranges in through this side, so these guys struggled a little bit. They've suffered a little bit in through there, so it would we'd really be best to take them off the um, off the mix. And most of these are wounded. They've all got purple hearts. Uh, back in through here, this group in through here did fairly well. Uh, no kills, though. Uh, the third uh, did uh, three kills. We've got a couple of uh, badly injured and then, if, if, like a few others, with sort of other injuries in through here as well. So we've got like uh, purple hearts all the way through here. Uh, one soldier kill, acts of bravery. So this is a fairly good little group. Uh, acts of bravery, but only one one kill. Nothing there. Yeah, four acts of bravery with uh, with squad leader Staff Sergeant Marshall is um, in, in his bar team, and um, yet Private Sherman did the did the damage. Two wounds, so there was uh, two purple hearts out of that group. Um, you know, these will sh actually, I forgot to even move the tank. <laughs> Completely forgot about the tank. The Now, this guy here got injured. Uh, the sharpshooter, sometimes they'll be taken out in the actual map, but then still be okay. This one actually was taken out by that, that other sniper. So it was sort of sniper versus sniper in those fields. And he was, so he was wounded, purple heart. Um, I think that the colour indicates how badly injured they are for how long it'll take for them to come back in again. You can rename the individual units as well. So uh, so it is fairly good. Which, te again, which team is Marshall? Um, no idea. <laughs> I've got no idea. I don't think we can search for them. Um, was, it the, was it the Staff Sergeant? That's Staff Sergeant Harrison. Yeah, was it Staff Sergeant Marshall? I'm not sure. Uh, it could be any of them, really. It's the lieutenant. Welch. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing it. Not seeing it there. They're just privates. No, don't know where it is. All right. So anyway, that's the that's the soldiers. So you, 
you then just continue on basically just going through this uh, time and time again. Um, sorry, uh, strat strategist saying, oh, is it Daz I'm hearing? Yes. Um, if you're not aware, my name is Daz Tactic. And so I've been just asked to sort of show, actually, I'm doing a couple of sessions tomorrow as well uh, on different games. So quite quite interesting actually seeing the, the, the breadth and, and mix of games that now Slytherin and Matrix actually have under their under their belts. It's really it's really really interesting. It's great. Actually, I should just point out as well. Like this is part of the publisher sale that they have. So check that out. There's a link I think in the Twitch channel, and I think this is going across to Facebook and um, uh, and straight onto YouTube and things like that. But just have a look in the description because there should be a link to all the different sales that they have. And if you, there's a lot of really good games that are really, really cheap. So if you're wanting to get those, I mean, I had a look there before, it's um, Distant Worlds was 75% off, for example. I think that um, Advanced Tactics Gold was like 65% off or something like this. It was you know, really, really cool. I think this game is about 35 or 40% off. So yeah, and pretty much every every game, all of the all of the sort of current games that they actually have have, have been um, have been uh, reduced in price. So it, it's a good uh, good 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 deals. It sort of doesn't happen all that often. So uh, now is the time to uh, to go and do it. Um, okay, so Highland New is saying it's uh, first squad, second bar team. Was it? Hang on, first squad, second bar team. First squad, this one here. Pro, hang on, what are we looking for? McCarthy, Private McCarthy, this guy here, you mean? Where he's acts of cowardice and acts of bravery. <laughs> anyway, we're not going to be able, we're not going to get a chance to really sort of start anything else with this. So um, anyway, if, if I go next, it'll then sort of take me through to the next next uh, thing in through here. So this is still, we started at 0600 hours on Omaha Beach, and we've been been able to sort of now rattle through, and Collerville now is really almost ready for us to then take it and do sort of like a final push, but I've only got a few minutes left, so I won't actually go and uh, do anything else there. So um, the next one will be XTRG, who will be uh, playing War in the East, so he's probably getting ready for that one right now. What I might just do is I might just go back and show... Um, I'll just go OK... Just go back to the main. We might just finish it off with a quick look at the scenario editor. I've got no idea what this is like. Oh no, we just got an error. I've just got an error. I'll uh, quickly open it back up again. Uh, this is the beta that I'm, I just ran in <laughs> with, so I'll just throw it back up and um, open her up again. Sorry about this, guys. Um, Okay, so Holland New is saying, what's War in the East like by comparison? I'm pretty sure, like, I think it's a game that I played a long time ago. Yeah, I think it's Gary Griggs, Grigsby, but correct me if I'm wrong, uh, was, the de was the developer of that game. It was a game, it's probably 15, 20 years old now, I guess. Uh, if it's the one I'm thinking of, I'm pretty sure it is. Excellent game, like excellent, excellent game. He did a whole series of them where it was just squad-based uh, games, very similar to Close Combat, but um, um, yeah, but but different essentially with the way it sort of does work. I mean, it's it's a lot older, a lot sort of purer. If if it's the one I'm sort of thinking of, um, uh, yeah. So uh, so actually, Hana New was saying, "What's bloody first luck as multiplayer?" No idea. I haven't actually haven't even. I don't think I've ever clicked on that one. Yeah, so I haven't even done one of these. Um, I tend not to play many multiplayer games. I won't click on the scenario editor again. I'm not sure why that didn't work. Uh, I, it, it used to work. It was actually, I have played with it once before. Uh, but anyway, this is, I guess we're sort of really only five minutes out. So what I might do is I might um, uh, might hand it over now. I'll just, well, I'll sort of, uh, I'll get going because if really we sort of now run out of, of things to do. Unless there's an, any other questions, I can just sort of leave this open in case. It's, um, so uh, X XTRG is saying you guys will love the uh, map mod, as in this one here. I can start trying to get it to work again. I could try it again, I guess. Scenario editor. Oh, here we go. It's working. It's working. All right. So this is cool. So the way that this works from memory is that you still go and pick one of your one of the maps that are in here. So I don't know if you can actually build your own map because they're all sort of 3D. So if we, if we take sort of point two ninety as an example, so this would be actually let's let's see if we got Collerville because we've actually just been having a look at that one. Collervillesmer. <laughs> 
there we go. So this is the actual town that we were just having a bit of a look at. And so you can sort of then set up your forces, um, how you sort of want it to work. Uh, it makes it, it's fairly, like when the last time we did look at it, which was months and months ago, it was fairly clean. Um, now you've got the different directions that you can sort of attack. So set area under allied control, set the allied home direction. So we can just do that from the top. Uh, set the axis home direction. You can actually even play from corner to corner. So just do that. Actually, I'll do this one in this corner as an example. Um, be important. So I think we can probably, I've only got a few minutes. Let's just uh, save that. I did do a test one of these a long, long time ago. Victory locations. Not sure if we, uh, if we can throw them in. Looks like we can't actually. Sit area under allied control. So we can just sort of paint. The areas that they actually have uh, under access control, same sort of deal. Create or edit victory locations. I think it'll do it automatically anyway. If you if you don't do this, you can just basically sort of uh, pop in a, a few different sort of victory locations on the map itself. So it's very very simple to actually make use of. You sort of just save it before you save it badly. You must select a map, create at least one victory location, select at least one main unit, and two setup areas for each side. We've done that. Um, what do we need to do? I'm not sure what I need to do now. It should have, um, entry location. Yeah, I'll just go with that one. Not sure what I, maybe I need, oh, maybe I need to go into here. Okay, so we just need to go across. So I can pick the different sorts of groups. Um, just go rifle company and light tank or something. I wonder why. Oh, that's support units. Okay, we'll just do a few of these. That's the United States, and for the um, so that's them. The Axis with the German. German group. We've got the Panzers. Which is only a two F. We want the uh, the fours and the threes would be the the best, I guess. So we'll just put those in and just go back. If if we just go back again, hopefully it'll now let us save it. Here we go. Um, let's call it Twitch. Okay, and uh, then go back to main. I think if we just now go back to play a game and just go to custom battles, there's Twitch and play Twitch. Close. There we go. <laughs> so it's pretty simple to sort of set up your own sort of stuff. Just go next and you're back into the game again. So it sort of works that way, which is really cool. Like it's it's very good. You can, it's a lot more powerful than we just, we just had a bit of a look at. But this is just coming in. This is in the beta version of the game right now. Anyway, guys, I will actually stop it now, and um, and then XT, XTRG will then sort of take over in a minute or two and start with um, with uh, what's that war in the east. So thanks for watching.